<laughs> lovely, lovely. Just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the time of draft party. And it was quite a bit heavy. Especially my own. Oh, Jesus. Good afternoon, people. And we're back with another beer review. Right, I don't know if any of you watched my, um, what I've got in the box one recently. And one of them was a strike me of interest when I was having an Italian moment, was a beer Moretti. And it was um, Sicilian beer brewed with orange peel or something, wasn't it? No, brewed with orange flowers or orange, with orange flowers. Orange, orange blossom. Orange blossom, something like that, yeah. So, yeah. Um, it's a new one by me. I've seen it floating around a few times over the course of time and um, been very interested to try. We've got another one in the range to do as well, haven't we? Well, actually, we've got another two, but one of them's the Rosso, which we're going to do and then do up against the Sub Tour, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to give that a go. See how well, they compare. We're a bit um, in a pickle with everything since we got back from <laughs> a, um, a Spain. I know he said something else. Yeah, we've um, we've got a bit of sorting out to do, haven't we? Yeah, so the best thing to do is to get the reviews done. We'll get some of the beats gone. <laughs> oh, she's a bit lively. It smells alright. That's a lovely orangey amber colour, doesn't it? Yeah, show them that and that, and I should get a, top that up ready for a picture. Okay, so there's our bottle. I've definitely not tried the. I don't even think I've heard of this No, before. this one. We were going to get this one in Venice about three years ago. Now, look at the colour of that. That does look absolutely lovely. And there's some real serious carbonation yeah. going through there. I don't know if you can see that on camera. We were going to get this in Venice about three years ago. Four years ago, and, I, and it was really expensive. It was either this or the other one. I'm not sure. About eight euros or something. So and I said to you, time. you know what they can do with eight euros? Yeah, eight euros is a little bit expensive. Oh, it was three or four years ago. Mm. And the point about it was, at the time, there were so many other options. Okay. So, yeah, um, this cost £3.99 from a Italian importer in England. And as I said, it comes in at 5.8%. So, oh, it's um, got a bit go to it then. Yeah, a bit more go than the 4.5%. Standard, right? I'm just going to say, I must have a smell. Oh, I'm my nose again. He's done it again. <laughs> I can't, I'm not. It's a little bit, what, citrus yeah, lemon? Yeah, I was. And a bit um, of sweet malt. There's not. Yeah, some malt there. It's there in the odour. and it, it's Some citrus, but it's not really smelling orangey to me. No, not orangey at all. <laughs> Now it's got that flower smell. It smells like the garden with a bit of sweet malt put in it. It smells very fresh, um, summery. Maybe that's the floral element of it that you're talking about. I wish I could read Italian. <laughs> then again, I wish I could read German. I wish I could read Spanish. I have trouble with English, so. There's not a lot of hope for me, is there, really? As I say, 5.8 ABV. I have seen it on Facebook here and there. Various people had it, and they did rate it, mm. I think. Heineken owned, obviously, isn't it? Not that it says it. There's not one mention of Heineken on the back. Interesting. Maybe they haven't brought this brand of Moretti. Who knows? Anyway, here we go. This is the bit that counts, isn't it? You know what? That is not half bad. Oh, 
Oh yeah. You definitely get a nice floral notes come through at the end. I'm going to mm. It's yeah, go on, I'll just You've got a sweet maltiness, but that really lends itself to this floral, almost bitterness note that comes through at the end. It's actually, yeah. Which balances out the flavours really quite it's nicely. Excellent balance, that is. Yeah. It's definitely getting the orange in the, in mm. the flavour, but like a bit of lemon as well, maybe citrus. That's good. I'm surprised. I like yeah, it. I do like that. I couldn't get it on the first bit. I was thinking, it's it's got a spicy element that's running through, and the carbonation as it runs mm. through your mouth is absolutely spot perfect. There, that's a good beer. Um, you have got your your orange peel, definitely, but There's it's a nice. Slight hoppy bitterness, bitterness that balances out the yeah, it, it, but it really does. Bad. It does work well with the other flavours in this. Well, too. Well. Yeah, it's smelling more as we're getting through the drink, and the aroma's coming through a bit more. It is very like, floral smelling. Yeah, it's, it smells like flowers. But it tastes like orange, lemon, apple, all of them are in mm. there. And it's really good. I'm yeah, that's surprised. nice. I like that. Four pounds a pint, it's not that bad. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, you've got some really good flavours working in there. Like you say, the citrus, lemon, orange, you've got a apple. slight... I don't know about apple. Um, and you have got that floral kind of feel to it as well. A slight sweetness from the malt and uh, a tad of bitterness from the hops. Yeah, yeah, it makes for a really well combined drink. Really it's pleasant. very well balanced. It's very refreshing as well. Mm. I mean, you picture yourself in Venice by the, by the uh, thing, by the city bit, city centre yeah. bit. You put that in August, 30, oh, yeah, 30 degrees, that would flow down. Mm. It's really got a, um, your mouth all the way through. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm absolutely really liking that. Yeah, I do like that. There's, there, there's plenty going on, there's plenty to taste. Um, like you say, a combination that works well together because it is really refreshing. That's a fantastic drink. That is, and it's got some go. A mm. 5.8, it's no, um, it's no fool's drink, huh? Yeah, I do like that. It does have a, there's nothing, bad it's a real weird mix i think that's not. the best variety i've tried yeah the other ones have been average at best yeah that's definitely definitely much better that's a definite yes yeah it's getting a yes from me um how high do i want to go with this um yeah i was thinking that I'm going to go on an 8. Yeah, I was going to say 8. 8.5. It, it's a really strong 8. There's loads and loads of flavours in there. They're really well combined together. The carbonation They move around excellent. your mouth really nicely with the carbonation. Um, and you're left with a clean, refreshed taste in your mouth from this drink. It's, it's nice. It really does. Mm. Yeah, all the way through. And you do get, you do get that slight aftertaste, but... It's not because everything going on before, eh? Yeah, it, 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 all the flavours balance each other out, work well together. This is this is absolutely great for Moretti. Like you say, yeah, could well be the best one. Yeah, like, well, must be honest, some of the others are not up to that much, are they? Yeah, well, that's a session marker. I wasn't keen on. What was the other one we tried? The one not the standard in, one. The one that's in the talk over there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't like that one very much. No, yeah, it's a definite yes from me, and it's an 8 out of 10. Yep. Um, strong eight. A good eight, a good eight, or an 8.5 for you. Uh, what can I say? If you've had it, let us know. Feel free to like the video if you like the content and subscribe. Come and join us. We're getting there. We've yep, got to we 1500. Are. Thank you all. So we're all pleased about that, and um, hopefully onwards and upwards. Um, as I say, let us know your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and bonjour. See you next time.